this is the Moto Z3. It's a new uh, smartphone that we announced back in August on uh, Verizon Wireless. Um, it's right now it's connected to our brand new 5G Moto Mod, which we haven't launched yet. It's still pre-commercial. Uh, we'll make that available early in 2019. But we have a working version right here that's connected to uh, the 5G ultra wideband network, specifically for this demo, developed by Ericsson and Qualcomm. Okay, and over there, that's the base station, right? That's the base station up there, which is why we have the device facing directly in there to get the best line of sight okay. for this demo. The network here is obviously pre-commercial. They only built it for this demo over the last couple of days. Okay. So that even the speeds that we see here will not be quite as fast as what you'll see on a commercially available network once the 5G networks are deployed. So through this app that Qualcomm developed, we have four different file sizes to choose from. They're hosted locally on a server and we'll actually download over 5G to this Moto Z3 device. So we can start with the 50 megabyte file and see how fast that uh, takes to download. So that just uh, downloaded in, in under two seconds. Let's give it something a little bit uh, more difficult here with 250 megabytes. And we can see how long this one takes in just four seconds. So we have uh, huge file sizes downloading in just seconds. We'll try one gigabyte. Give that something a little bit longer. So this is, again, actually a real file size coming through local server through Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network. The device itself, the, the 5G modem mod has an array of 10 antennas inside of it, four of which are dedicated specifically for millimeter wave frequencies. We have... So 17 seconds there for the one gigabyte file. So the four antennas, two are facing the sides, one is facing the rear, and one is facing the front. So no matter where you are, no matter how you're holding the phone, you still get the best connection to 5G, uh, no matter what your, your use case is. Wow. Okay. Uh, any uh, timelines on when the actual 5G modem will be available for the phone? So the the Snapdragon X or the the 855 and the X50 modem are both in the 5G modem mod right now. So as soon as we launch that in 2019, um, you can snap that on the back and you'll get those capabilities in the phone. It's driving millimeter wave connectivity, the, the 855 chips it is, but it also will upgrade your phone with the, the Cat20 LTE capability. So even when you're not on 5G, when you don't have that coverage, you can still get much faster LTE connectivity. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.